What's going on guys? Got a knife review here for you of the Chris Reeve Knives uh, Large Regular Sebenza. Uh, if you guys know the history of Chris Reeve Knives, um, I think basically in 1990 is when the first Sebenza came out and I believe that the design uh, was the regular Sebenza. And then in 2000, uh, he changed some of the designs, made some modifications based on um, his own data and um, experience, stuff like that. And then he changed to um, basically the 21 design. Um, it was actually called the Classic, and it was identified, you know, kind of with the uh, script Classic, and then it has some Roman numerals here. Um, you can actually watch uh, Randy's channel, Solo's Knife Reviews. He actually did a comparison uh, specifically of the uh, regular and the 21. Um, so it's a good, it's actually a pretty good review uh, and comparison. And so basically, what I'm going to be doing is kind of just looking at the regular. And, and the reason why is, you know, as a uh, collector, um, you know, the, the large regular or, you know, small regular as well, you know, these are, <coughs> excuse me, knives that are discontinued. Um, the only way. Actually, the only way to get these, from what I've been seeing and reading, is um, you know through the secondary market. Um, and we're not just talking about plain Jane regulars, uh, but even the annuals. So 2011 uh, marks the last year, I believe, uh, that they're doing annuals. So there's no more. Maybe the unique graphic um, design Sabenzas, um, they might have. Um, those in the regular form but you know if they're if they're cutting out the uh, annuals and all that kind of stuff then they might be just done with that shape altogether um, you know seems like they are uh, even maybe even moving from the 21s now with the introduction of the 25 at blade show so not sure exactly what all the details are uh, in regards to um, those knives but again as a you know collector user um, you know, there's there's a lot of hype about the the regular Sabenzas, um, and kind of I what I wanted to do is kind of just do a comparison um, of this knife. You know, and if you look at all these knives right here, they're all pretty much similar size um, uses in terms of titanium frame lock and all that kind of stuff. Uh, blade steel, you know, relative outside of outside of the Damascus here on the lion steel I mean, you got XHP on the VECP um, but pretty much S30V, uh, S30V or S35VN um, you know blade steel and all that kind of stuff so you have you know minor modifications you know here and there between the regular to the Spenza to the Unumzan to the VECP um, even the lion steel there's there's similarities but um, you know it is a pretty different knife uh, in some senses so uh, let's just do basic comparisons first uh, between the regular and the 21 um, there are obviously a lot of similarities between these two um, you know outside of the micarta inlays and all that kind of stuff if you can look past the um, inlays there you know pocket clip and all that kind of stuff is the same lanyard hole or lanyard pin would net, you know, pretty much be the same. Um, blade shape, uh, in terms of the general belly, you do have a little bit more belly on the regular. Um, the Sabenza 21 has a much more streamlined blade shape. Um, you know, this drop point uh, style blade. Um, the regular has this kind of higher arc uh, arch uh, on the blade. Um, so you do have a little bit more of a flat on the top. Um, again, not a big deal. The blade stock is going to be the same at 0.125. Your titanium um, scales are basically going to be about the same as well. Um, you got the uh, stop pin right there, uh, titanium stop pin, and then I think it's titanium stop pin, and then you got the titanium backspacer on each one as well. Um, so there's your general comparison uh, in terms of size and shape and all that kind of stuff. On the regular, obviously, you have this bottom uh, dimpling, or uh, if you would call it jimping, um, it's it's smooth, so it, it does provide for grip. Um, but 
I would say it's more, you know, for aesthetics. I don't know. I mean, it does provide more grip and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it does have this cutout right here so that you can actuate the lock bar um, pretty pretty easily. And that's pretty much, you know, pretty much it in terms of the, you know, obvious differences. Um, some more subtle differences, though, are on when you look at these two blade, uh, scales right here, handles, uh, you can see on the 21 there is this chamfering on all over uh, the blade, or I'm sorry, all over the handle. And that goes all the way around the entirety of the knife. And I think that really looks sharp on the 21, you know, on the front of the handles here. You also have uh, this kind of, I guess what you, I, I guess you would call it chamfering, but kind of like this arrowhead finish uh, on the Sabenza 21, which also I like. Um, you know, on this regular, you know, it's just pretty much cut out. It's smoothed out and it's extremely comfortable. It's all rounded out and everything. Spine of the blade is all rounded, just like the Sabenza 21 uh, that you're probably used to. Um, but outside of that, you know, the, the chamfering on the 21, uh, I think adds a lot of sleekness to the look of the blade. Aesthetically, I just think it looks a lot more pleasing. Um, so I would, you know, chalk that one up to the Spenza 21 in terms of aesthetics and all that kind of stuff. Now here's the main, I think in my opinion, the main difference between the, I mean, outside of the, just the obvious... Uh, look of the blades is the handle. Uh, when I was handling the Sabenza 21, it felt much, I'm sorry, the uh, regular 21, it felt, uh, regular Sabenza, sorry, I'm like all over the place here. Um, the regular Sabenza feels a lot fuller in hand. And here's the reason why. When you look at the top of the scale here, uh, it's straight. I think it's just kind of looking at it right now. Uh, yeah, pretty sure that it is straight across this way. If you know, if anything, it almost looks like it's a little bit arched um, on top, but I don't think it is. I think that might just be my imagination. Um, and then on the bottom right here as well, you have kind of this little curve, um, but for the most part, it's a lot straighter. It's a lot more, um, you know. So you have a straight, straight grip on top and bottom. Uh, I mean, you do have the cutouts or the little arches here, so it kind of fits into your fingers. But for the most part, it's fuller compared to the 21. On here, you have this kind of um, curved down, so kind of a concave um, cutout here. It's very, very subtle. Um, and then here, it also just goes in, uh, so it angles up this way. So it's a little bit thinner and smaller in the hand. Scales are actually the same thickness, especially with the inlays, so that kind of fills up your hand a little bit. But in terms of kind of width this way, it's a pretty noticeable difference in hand. Uh, again, this one kind of just fills up your uh, hand width-wise this way. Um, and then with the jimping or the, the cutouts here, the dimpling here, it really just kind of fills out your hand. It's a fill, you know, it gives you a very full grip, if that makes any sense. In addition, the jimping on the regular blade um, is much finer, and um, I feel like the 21's jimping is actually much grippier, so I can get a better purchase on this blade. So if you can kind of compare here, uh, just if it focuses enough. Yeah, so the jimping is longer on the regular, ever so slightly, and then it's finer cut on the regular. Okay. But these wider teeth on the jimping on the 21 seems to provide a little bit more, um, actually not even just a little bit, a lot more grip um, on, on this jimping on the 21. So I can dig my thumb in here, and it's not going anywhere. But if I dig my thumb here on the 21, I can, I can slide it pretty easily. So those are the uh, main differences between you know the 21 and the regular and you know essentially you know the the price that the regulars command on the secondary market 
uh, in my honest opinion, is pretty much due to the collectability of it. Um, again, um, because you know the the regular is not going to be doesn't seem like it's going to be produced anymore. Um, the only way to get it is on the secondary market. So, um, you know, some people might be you know partial to you know the the feel of the handle. You know, with this bottom jimping and um, with the straight flat and all that kind of stuff you know that it might provide the fuller grip or I don't know like you know when I was handling it it, it kind of it's probably mental honestly but it did kind of just feel just a slightly you know bit more stout than the 21 uh, the 21 kind of just feels like it has some more refined edges and you know even the blade shape again with the streamlined look um, you know and the streamlined handle and all that kind of stuff Compared to the, you know, Umnumzan, Umnumzan as well, you know, is, it feels more streamlined. It feels thinner in hand um, compared to the regular. Uh, even though the top here is flat, um, you know, this part indents quite a bit um, on the Umnumzan. Um, so even, even though, you know, the titanium scales are supposedly slightly thicker than the Sebenza, the blade is, you know, is a hair thicker as well. As the Sabenza in hand, you know the Umnumzan feels a bit thinner uh, than the than the feel of the regular for sure. And then going to the VCP, and the VCP I think has one of the best feeling handles out of all these plain Jane titanium uh, knives. You know, with this nice index choil, um, you know the height of this uh, VCP handle really fills up uh, the hand, even though it's you know, feels thin. I think it's still the same thickness as these. Pretty much the same thickness, maybe a little bit thicker than the Umnum's on here. Um, so you can imagine it's it's going to be thicker than than the Sabenza. But uh, in hand, you know, this handle just feels super comfortable in reverse grip and and regular grip and all that kind of stuff. Just an amazing knife um, for sure. Super smooth. Um, just incredibly easy to uh, actuate and all that kind of stuff. Uh, in, in the internals as well, you know, with the Sebenza and the Umnumzan, uh, you do have those perforated uh, washers, you know, phosphor bronze washers uh, that really hold the grease in. Uh, the regulars, uh, and even like some of the older Sebenzas, like the classic and all that kind of stuff, I believe have, you know, just a regular phosphor bronze washer. Um, on the other side, you do have kind of these full uh, screws, female screws, you know, that house the uh, hex, hex screws here, uh, whereas the Sebenza, you've got uh, at least the newer ones with the Idaho made uh, signing, uh, you've got the uh, hex on both sides and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, you know, the regular, again, I, I think... Obviously, as a as a user, it's a Sabenza. It's it's more than capable. You know, again, Sabenza means work, so um, it can easily take care of any task, just like the Sabenza could. Um, but as a collector, due to its availability now, and uh, whether it's going to be completely discontinued from the line of Chris Reeve knives, um, you know, it's it might be a good time to snag them up. So. Uh, anyway, there's a quick comparison and look and review of the uh, Chris Reeve Large, regular Large Sabenza. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys on the next vid.